So this is pretty wild. I've used Luxie AI in order to build myself a machine learning model that predicts the future price of Bitcoin and then trades it for me. So essentially, uh, we've been working with Luxie here in order to build out this machine learning model that takes in past Bitcoin data for the past seven years on the 15 minute time interval and then predicts the next hour of price. So as you can see here, if we jump on over to the file that we just created, we can see that we load in the ML and then we say play. And this has already had the model trained for probably six to eight hours. And well, maybe not six to eight hours, it's probably three hours. But then you can see it predicts a price for four different time steps. This is 15 minutes ahead, this is 30 minutes ahead. 45 and one hour. Now, the prices don't seem to be predicting that well, but what they do predict well is the direction. So as you can see, the prices are actually quite off, 26,000 versus 23,000, but it's been predicting the direction correctly. So I feel comfortable in trading this. And I don't recommend you trading it, of course. I'm just some random dude on YouTube that's showing you how I algo trade. But I used Luxy to build this all out for me. And if you don't know how to algo trade yet and you want to automate your trading because you think it's going to do much, much better, I highly recommend just stick around here because every day I build new trading algorithms and I'm just a regular dude. Like I didn't go to school for this stuff. I was just a trader just like you. And I knew that my emotions got in the way of my strategies. I had good strategies in my head, but the execution just was not there. So I learned how to do all this stuff and now I have machine learning that predicts for me. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to implement this part into the actual trading algorithm. So what we're gonna do here is, I think I'm gonna take this whole thing. Well, let's go ahead and first, let's make a new file and call it 512 ML hyper Executor. Execute.py. So let's go ahead and explain this file. This file is going to predict future price with our BTC ML model. And then it's going to decide if it should be long or short. If long, it will long in the supply or demand zones. Demand zone and short in the supply zone. No, it actually won't short in the supply zone. If short, it will short in the supply zone. So we have this algorithm that we've been building that I show everything here on YouTube. Um, and you can see that we predict price now and we have all the pieces here over time we've built all this out and let's go ahead and see hyper with uh what is this hyper with indie okay perfect this is exactly what we need and let's see if there's another a newer one 11 load uh, i think this is going to be the one we use so let's go ahead and bring this over and we can paste that in and essentially, this is the trading algorithm that we built with Hyper, Hyper Liquid, which is an exchange. Let's go ahead and delete all this stuff. Well, I guess we can keep it. And what we need to do now is we need to load in the model. So let's go ahead and take this model here and let's go ahead and put it in here as a function. And let's just say def ml predictions. And then let's paste this in here. Move it over a bit. I think we already imported NumPy and pandas. 
well maybe at least pandas let's go ahead and import all of this stuff at the the top let's delete this Let's go ahead and see what we can do now. Okay, so now we have the model loaded in and I think we should be able to just get the return let's return all this stuff actually let's make it so it let's make it so it reads everything in and then it returns just if we should go long or not do that I would say if well we should probably put this hmm how do we get the price load model let's check out this load model I need to get the actual price for BTC now so we can compare it I suppose I could just do it from here So, hmm, I might just go ahead and put this below the ask bid because we already in this, we already have the, let's just go ahead and put the ask bid at the top because the ask bid seems to be something we just use over and over again. So let's put that at the very top of this file and then we can just use it to call okay and now that we have that ask bid we can say get the uh, actual price equals ask bid and we'll pass in the symbol zero so that gets the actual price because this ask bid function just so you can see it you can see here that it gets the actual the ask price and the bid price and we're just going to make the actual price the ask price because that's what people are willing to pay for let's go pop in here real quick and we can see the model is saying to short but as you can see, we just popped up here. So is the model good? I don't know, but I don't really care about one trade. I want to see how it does over the course of like a few weeks. And that's where, you know, we only need like a bit of percentage. So I look forward to it because this model looked like it predicted pretty well. And if it predicts the future at all, even at like 50%, I'm pretty happy about that because that is very tradable for me at least. Just depends on how you, how you trade.
So apologize my brief thinking here, but just thinking this through. So if you're new here, uh, welcome. My name is Moon Dev. I just show exactly what I'm building each day as an algo trader because nobody else shares this information. So sometimes there are pauses of me actually thinking. So what I'm going to do here is if the actual price long equals if next price next 15 minutes i want to do all of these actually if actual price is bigger than this and bigger actual price. I want actual price to be bigger. If actual price is bigger than this, then we need, then long equals false. Print, print actual price. If actual price say is a thousand dollars and the predictions are $500, we need to be shorting. According to ML over the next hour. Long equals false. Else, LF, yeah, let's do LF. Actual price is smaller than all four of these. Now I did four predictions because I, it's they're 15 minute predictions. So I want it over the whole hour. Price is going up according to ML over the next hour. Okay. Now price is clearly moving upwards, but you know, we'll see. We'll see if this actually holds true and you don't need to spend your money on this. I'm spending my money on it. Now we need to get the new data. So I need to get new data here. Get fresh data here. And we'll go ahead and figure out how to do that here. I have a data function that I can use. So I'll grab this and I think I have everything. Maybe I don't have JSON, but we'll see. We'll go back to here and From here, we're going to I think right here is fine. We'll put it. Well, I'll just put it in the ML predictions because we're only going to use it for this. So BTC USD, we need to import data link. So from don't share config. import data link okay and this should get us the data from let's go ahead and delete this oh what's the error data link oh maybe I spelled it wrong in the config file so I'm gonna take this off screen just for a second so you can't see my um, keys and stuff. Apologize. Maybe next time. 
Okay, so it is called data link there. So I just need to change the name. It should be data link underscore. And then this gets the candles DF. And candles DF to CSV. But I don't even think we need to do that. And we probably don't need this much data either. What's the date today? It's May. So we actually only need the last 60 bars. So let's make this three just for the speed. And then we can just, instead of printing candles DF, actual price is there. Candles DF to CSV. I think we just don't do to to a CSV and we just say candles DF and we put it right in here. Right? Or we might actually just call this fresh data. Close that and we'll call this fresh data. Because then that fresh data is put into here. I think that looks good to me. Get our fresh data right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what we need to do next. So long, elif long equals true, else, Print price is going to go sideways according to ML for the next hour. And then we'll return long. Return long. That looks good. So now the indicator of long will actually just be calling this. And we'll see, like, does this turn around or not? Because it's saying short right now. So we're kind of getting a live example. So I'm keeping the screen open right now. So ML predictions. And then we want to just let's put a time dot sleep right here. Time dot sleep. And then I want to see here. Does this is this gonna run? Let's get to that later. But I want to make sure and it has to run every time, right? So this is gonna take a while because now it's generating data. Well, let's actually, let's have it reprint that because so we, we don't get worried, you know, print generating fresh data for ML. And then once it gets the fresh data, it pulls in the model that we trained for a few hours and then it will roll. Now, while that's working, we want to make sure that, oh, what's going on here? L2 data, 7.9. Dang, they changed something again. Okay. So the exchange I'm using is super new, so they keep changing things. Um, let's print. 
L2 data. Nine eighty, but I just told you to print L two data. Oh, there's no response. So symbol for the symbol INJ, no response. Huh? Well, okay. Let's change this. We're not gonna trade that anyways. So it's generating the fresh data. What the heck? I wonder why, what's going on? L2 book response. That's gonna break my whole algo to be honest. Oh, it's almost 9 a.m. So pre-market is open. I'm curious what's going on. The QQQ. Oh, we got a little upness in the pre-market. Sure got like Coinbase. It's good for crypto. like to look through some of these at like 9 a.m. ish because that kind of is right before a bunch of liquidity is going to rush in. All right. So this doesn't look like it's subscriptable anymore. Subscriptable, yeah. Passing in the symbol here. Oh, I see what's going on. I call sim. I change symbol here. Data symbol. I'm gonna call this data symbol. That's my bad. So we'll keep it how it is for now with the BTC, but we're gonna pass in data symbol. So data symbol, and that will be there. So what have happened is I asked for the ask bid, but the, so they're not changing anything. I know I apologize. It's not them. It's me. It's usually me. Most of the time it's me. <laughs> I mean, because that's what's be the beauty of code is that it, um, okay. So that works. I'm going to delete this, this part here because I don't want to see the L2 data, but it's, yeah, that's what beauty, the beauty of code is. It's usually me because it just does what you say to do. Okay, cool. So price is going down to go down according to ML for the next hour. That's what it says, but we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm going to sit here and watch it for the next hour. That's for sure. But it looks like it's going up because we actually got the data from here. So is this right? Mm. I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to show you that, like, actually what I'm doing today. So right or wrong, it doesn't matter to me because if it's wrong enough, that's actually good. If you get what I'm saying, if you can be such a bad trader or your algo can do so bad, that's good because then you can just trade opposite of it. Right? So let's go here and now figure out how we're going to implement this into the bot so we get the longs we get the shorts short only long only but we need to make sure that it runs forever So it's doing this part forever, the bot part. And the bot part calls the supply and demand zones. B. 
But you know what I think we should do? Is just put this inside of this. And then return. Let's see if I can figure this out. I mean, I should be able to. <laughs> it's not too hard. I'll paste this in here. So if long equals true, then short on long only is true. So let's pass back long only and short only. Okay. So now we can delete this. And now I think I can delete this as well. And this actually should be up there the top. Should be 90. Okay, Binance symbol is that and we use Binance for some data. So do with it, do with it as you want. All of this stuff I show you is not intended for you to run. Of course, I'm just showing you everything that I do. because I'm building algos all day and I don't, nobody else shows this information, so. Looks like the bot, if it would have entered this trade, it would be about break even right now. Because it gave me these predictions around, well, we'll run it again. But now I think the ML predictions This outputs long only or short only. And I can call inside the bot. The bot will then either only long or only short. And that's exactly what we want. So if you look down here, we're saying long is true if the actual price is under all of the predictions. So the current price right now, if that's under all of the predictions, then we're saying long. And it's four predictions, so it's like an hour of predictions. And if it's over, if the current price is over all the predictions, then we say sh long is false. Now, if long is true, then we're saying we're going to have a long only system and short only is false. Well, if long equals false means we need a short, so we're having a short only system. And then long is set to false. Else, we're saying false, false, because it's sideways. So I'm just gonna call this inside the bot now, and then I think that's, I think that's it. So I just need to get this set up on my server and let it run. So long only, short only. Let's go ahead and say long only, short only equals that. So this, this predicts future price with ML. Okay, so we have a machine learning function in our bot now. This gets our supply and demand zones. Our size, what's going on with our size here? Oh, we marked it out for now. So let's go ahead and Put it back in. Okay, I think we're Gucci now. So we can run this and it should work. So you can see down here, if short long only is true, then we're only long and if short only is true, we're only shorting or else we're doing both. We're long and shorting. This runs every three seconds. Doesn't need to run every three seconds. hit save on that and then 
Make sure we don't have any time dot sleeps anywhere. Time dot sleep. Okay, that looks fine right there. Don't need any of that. When I debug, I put sleeps in random places. So let's go ahead and run this and see what's Gucci. Generating fresh data for ML. Okay, the ask and bid, it got the ask and bid. It's, it's now calculating the machine learning. It says it's gonna go down. Position size is zero. Count size is false. No open orders, not in position. Setting orders. Above are the open orders. Placing a buy for two BTC. Okay, so. That's gonna mess us up, but I need to go back to INJ. Let's jump on to the actual exchange so we can see if this is working. And actually, I wanna make sure here to make this super clear which way we're trading. say down down so it's super clear and then let's go ahead and run it and while it's running I'm gonna get connected to the exchange hyper liquid and we'll jump in there it says it's going up that's wrong I just have this mixed up so if actual price is bigger than price next 15 minutes, huh? Let's say time dot sleep here. Time dot sleep. And let's just figure this out. Print actual price. print that well actually I want all of them see what's going on there maybe I just have this mixed up it's early in the morning I get up dumb early and I just code I just code and I show you everything so I hope you love it okay so the actual price is six dollars <laughs> that's because I changed it to to um, I change it to injective how much BTC size can I handle right now I only have a hundred dollars in this test account so you get connected here and establish connection all that good stuff takes two seconds I'm enjoying this uh, exchange quite a bit okay so I can do like 0 0.05 BTC so let's change this to like 0 0.04 oh well, let's do three and I'll change this back to BTC And then we'll run it. See what's Gucci. Remember, we're sleeping. So we're generating fresh data. Good, good. So price is going down. Because this is the price and this is the predicted prices. So it's predicting a big fall here at some point. So I think I have to be short only. And that's what our system does. It will make us short only. Now, there's a lot that goes behind um, what you're gonna do with your stops and all that good stuff, or take profits. Because as you can see, like it predicted this off of data 
here and this last bar and it is down but also earlier remember it predicted it was going down right here too so it went up and if you had a tight stop loss you got stopped out right so it, you know while machine learning is amazing you got to be careful about where like how you use it right so that's something to always always know let's go ahead and see if we can get this to make some orders because I changed the BTC amount and I think it's gonna stay with short only or whatever whatever we'll see what it does I don't make decisions right that's the whole point of this so we're generating fresh data for the ML let's see if it makes the order correctly it should make a short order only so you can see it's generating the machine learning it says it's going to go down position size is zero no open orders not in position setting orders above are the open orders need to cancel it's placing an order sell unexpected order okay All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hard code BTC in because this bot is actually for injective. That's what I built it for. So with without like doing some debugging and whatnot, I'll have to, it might be a pain to try to fix that. So let's go ahead here and say actual price and let's get Let's say take um, data symbol and drop the USD part. And then we'll pass in here that. Okay, perfect. So now it's going to essentially look at BTC data to trade uh, injective. And that can be any alt, but whatever. I mean, there's. I'm just looking at the high volume ones, and there's just not a lot of volume in BTC. Oh, they added some new or injectives right here. So that's current price. It says it's going down. Let's go to injective. Okay, so boom, it placed the order up here, which is good because that means it's not going to overtrade which I like a lot because I would rather it, if it's predicting the price down, well, let's make sure at least buy in the supply zone, you know, and then it will adjust the price. I like this a lot. Yes, I do. Because it's using machine learning to kind of predict the way the market's going to move based off of BTC. And we all know everything follows BTC. So let's do that based off of BTC. And then based off of that, let's trade a highly liquid alt on hyper liquid. So I could do Sui or K Pepe, but injective I'm more familiar with and there's pretty good liquidity. I mean, K Pepe has 8 million, but it's like, uh, it was a meme coin. So, you know, those can act pretty unexpectedly. But this is working now and you can see the bot running now and it's just going to keep looping every 15 seconds or so and keep looking at which way it should set the orders and based off of the machine learning which way it should set the order and you can see it's running the machine learning again predicting off new data so it's always checking new data and always making new decisions god this is sick wow I'm going to put all of this code inside the boot camp. So don't worry if you don't have it, you can feel free to join uh, this boot camp. Essentially, I teach everything that I know about algo trading and uh, I give you a bunch of code, seven different algorithms. There's a ton of people inside of it. I don't like to pitch it all the time. Um, I just get everybody asking me, hey, how do I algo trade like you and where do I start? And this is where you start and you can see there's tons of success. Um, yeah, so. I'm all in on this and if you want to 
join me and my team, you can jump into the boot camp. But if not, totally fine as well. We've got the uh, YouTube channel. And I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.